Today we're going to talk about a trace mineral that can greatly help someone if they have a condition of excessive blinking, jerking, twitching, and other tick-like motions. There's various conditions like Tourette's syndrome or tardive dyskinesia or dystonia involving involuntary repetitive body motions. It could be anything, grimacing, sticking your tongue out, smacking your lips, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, there's a certain part of the brain involved in suppressing these abnormal uh, muscle movements. It's called extrapyramidal. And sometimes, not always, people develop certain involuntary movements uh, as a side effect from taking certain psych drugs or tranquilizers for a period of time. Now, it could also occur from having some type of damage to this part of the brain. Now, it just so happens that this part of the brain needs a lot of manganese, not magnesium, but manganese to function. And there's some interesting research on taking this very inexpensive trace mineral, 10 milligrams three times a day, and improving these symptoms. And sometimes it's a combination of taking something that's depleting your manganese or other nutrients and not consuming the foods high in a certain nutrient. Manganese is in spinach, it's in almonds, it's in bran. Now the problem is spinach and almonds are high in oxalates and oxalates block the absorption of manganese. So if you're consuming a lot of these, you're probably not gonna get enough manganese. Also bran in grains, which we don't recommend, is loaded with manganese, but this has something called phytic acid which blocks manganese, which is a trace mineral. So if you're expressing these symptoms, I really don't believe that you're gonna be able to uh, get enough manganese from your diet. You're gonna to have to take it as a supplement, 10 milligrams, three times a day. Um, if you're gonna do this, also add in magnesium, because magnesium is also involved in a lot of other coenzymes as a helper molecule involved in the biochemical processes. Also add vitamin B3, that's called niacin. But let's look at some other effects that can occur if you're deficient in manganese. All right, blood sugar problems. You can, be, you can have insulin resistance, prediabetes, or even diabetes. You can have a problem in mineralizing your bones, and you can end up with osteoporosis or osteopenia. You can have impaired growth. So if your mother was deficient in manganese when she was pregnant with you, uh, you may not reach your full growth. Also, you may have skeletal structural abnormalities. You can have skin rashes. Low manganese can increase your risk for epilepsy, having more pain and inflammation, muscle spasm, and having excessive amounts of ammonia because manganese is involved in something called the urea cycle, which is involved with breaking protein down and making sure that this is detoxified so you don't build up too much ammonia. So if you know of someone who has this, definitely get them to try manganese to see if it can actually help. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.